We get just about nine months of play on our natural turf fields. Come November 1st, we shut that play down to give the fields a break through the winter season. And the synthetic turf uh, allows us year-round play, uh, weather permitting. As long as we don't have snow covering the fields, we allow use on those synthetic fields throughout the county. In the spring, when we go ahead and activate our 70 acres of uh, bluegrass, our sports fields have basically come out of retirement and we'll be aggressive with activating irrigation systems, going through our aeration, overseeding, and fertilization, and uh, bringing the fields back up to safe condition play. We will go through the edging of sidewalks, weed eating, and then there's various chemical applications we'll apply for weed control. Uh, we'll go through actual fence projects as well. Uh, we'll also go through concrete sidewalks and make any corrections we need to with those as well. So we want to make sure that fields are top dressed. I mean, we don't have any uh, depressions or divots or undulations in the, in the ground. And then once we move to the hardscapes, uh, the, the sidewalks, the soft surfaces, the basketball courts, the picnic shelters, we're going to make sure that those are clean, swept, uh, high pressure washed down, and or edged. Trail maintenance will be very aggressive with that in the springtime as well. And just get out and as soon as the mowing allows, take care of the shoulders. We typically mow a 72 inch swath on each side of the walkway just to give the users a clear visibility of what's going on out there for any wildlife or just any obstacles they need to be aware of. The most important thing for us is just to provide a safe playing surface, a safe uh, playground, a safe atmosphere within any of our parks, trails, or even our public building grounds. We do have a lot of activities that take place and our first priority is to make sure that it's a safe area for the users to use.